kwa joka mbele hapa tunataka okay sabini sawa ah tafanya sisi Very, very hot, man. Very hot. I won't be talking much. I won't be talking much, guys. You just enjoy. That's why you, you can hear the most. You know we are in Mombasa, Kenya. Crossing is usually a bit difficult because of a lot of tuk tuks. from Nairobi and uh, 
Oh, I'm feeling the hot. I guess it's around um, 30 degrees or more than that. The sun. Baby. Yeah, baby. Papa. You know this side of Mombasa. I'm sure most of you don't know this area. It's interior behind um, Nawal Center. If you know Nawal Center, it's behind it. You'll find a lot of Mombasa stuff here. I need to cross right. I walk at the center so that you guys can see. Look at this guy, just reversing. <laughs> In Africa, we have a lot of fruits. You can see fresh fruits here. And they're very affordable. Not cheap, affordable. Go this side, because there's a lot of people and we need to see people. Ooh. Look at this mango. This is like a, uh, some years ago it used to be uh, like a market. Ooh. Wow, those fishes look weird. Some fresh vegetables, vegetable or vegetation, whatever. <laughs> A lot of you guys are going to correct me in the comment section. Today you may be asking yourself why a lot of people in Mombasa are usually are like uh, very lazy. It's not that they're lazy, it's just the, the sun is too much, so it makes them be lazy. That's according to me. If you have another reason, just tell me. I appreciate it. You know that mall there? It's a, it's a bit. This is one of the, I guess, the biggest mall here in town. So there's a going. Okay. Let's try to enter the mall. While you're filming, you see what goes on inside. Yeah. Wow. They make stickers there. Some system. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't let me down, just give it a thumbs up. Here's the entrance of the mall. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is 
couple of people standing here. I'm not going to find it. I guess those people are afraid of taking the escalator. So funny. Small, pay less, grandy. I'm still busy. Oh. And so, I'm just from asking the security guard because I wanted to know the prices of the of the VR down there, but the owners they have gone to Swali. Guys, I love the mall, it's so big. Let's get out of here. Nice one. For the guys, you may be asking yourselves, Where's the parking? They have uh, an underground parking slot. So you can come, park your car down underground, then do your stuff. So let's continue with the tour. Most of you guys uh, don't know about these areas which I'm showing you currently. Mombasa is somehow big. You can say small, but no, that's really small. Wow. And by the way guys, let me tell you something. This, uh, the sun is going to continue. Hopefully like this till late March or, uh, yeah, March, February March. This is the underground parking. Let's go and get a front view of the mall. It's like a shopping center, a mall, wherever you want to call it. Ooh. People are praying. This is the mall here, let's oh, go. We need to cross the other side so that we can see the mall. There is a lot of tuk tuks, a lot of cows. Oh man. Let's see if we can cross the top box now. Let's do it. This is the mall. And during the night, this area usually lights up. Very, very good. I need to come here during the night. People are praying. It's on a Friday.
companies of different type of buses in here. Marsh, green lines are made, blah blah, all up on here. So, we need to go to the other side so that you can, I can be safe, you know, this is not a place where <laughs> I'm supposed to work, but we do it for YouTube. <laughs> Ooh. I'm sure in the years to come, We'll have a um, Mombasa Expressway <laughs> all the way from Bamburi or Mpapa to the airport or I guess to Maria Kanye. Ooh, come that on. will be awesome. Very awesome. the road to the other side because we're coming to a roundabout and I can't just keep on walking. Need to cross. And these Matatu drivers are very, very reckless. That's the truth. But if you don't know something, Mombasa we are using this small Matatu Nissan and Nairobi they have the big buses or you can call them Manyanga or Nganya. Wow, wow. Will I be able to cross? I can't see any. Oh, perfecto. Around the noon, that's why the sun is really cold. Now. 
this is the road going this side is called Kisawi Road. But we ain't using it right now. We are going on the other side. We are going this way. Which way? That way. This way. Wow. This was Mombasa. All these matatis here are going to our uh, This is called Changamu, mainland Magongo, all the way to the airport. In fact, to be specific, specific some go to Chuda, another one, they have to cross the Kibarani Bridge, the new bridge. With the time I'm finished to this video, I need to drink about um, three liters of water. Wow. <laughs> we are crossing again. So that we can walk at the center, you guys can have a glimpse of how it looks on both sides. Some of you guys were telling me, oh, your videos are so shaky. Trust me guys, I'm going to redo this video. I'm going to redo all those other videos. Mercedes Benz. Mercedes. I'm not a fan of Mercedes Benz. I don't love. In fact, I don't love small cars. <laughs> I love very, very big cars. Wow, the road is very, very clear. So we're just gonna cross slowly. Slowly. There's no hurry in Africa. <laughs> I was just walking direct on the sun. Man. Sky Rider, KDH. Ooh. Hope you guys saw that. Okay, now I'm. Uh, I'll not, I will not just continue straight. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use this road. 
all the way straight to not this one, the other one. <laughs> I want to go to Buxton or Makadara, blah blah. Yeah, the next one. Wow. Dune View Hotel. I, I never left this one. You know, I, I traveled to Nairobi and I, I stayed there for a while. in this junction we ain't going straight anymore if you're tired of straight videos I don't know we're going this way So it's a very, very tiresome walk, guys. You know, not really tiresome. It's just uh, the sun. I have a cape, but you guys, you know you guys were asking me uh, why I'm usually wearing a cape, huh? Living in Mombasa, you have to get used on two things. Having a cape on and glasses. I don't love glasses that much. The cape serves the, the head, the eyes, whatever. Ooh. There's a big construction coming. So, I really wanted to do this video on pointing the camera straight ahead. Not diverting the camera to myself or whatever. It's just you guys to enjoy what you're seeing. What you're seeing. You have seen my face for a very, very long time. I don't know which way to go. I'm going to go straight to the Monoka grounds. You should, you should be very, very careful, or this toothpick should go with you. <laughs> I don't know how long this video is gonna be. <laughs> I've been really working for for quite a distance, right? High school students on a motorcycle. Do they have a license? I don't know. Do they need a license? Mm, I guess that's none of my business. Let's continue on filming. Let's keep on rolling the tape. Ooh. Ooh. These guys are crazy. <laughs> Did you really go to a driving school or what? You can see this small, small caves on my right side. The South students, college students, and some hostels around there. Students don't love cooking. I guess you know that. The majority of you guys know that. Yeah, 
Yeah. But then, guys, this is the Tononoka, Tononoka grounds where a lot of rallies, crusade, and sport activities usually go, goes on here in Mombasa. But not all. I don't know why they usually don't maintain it. It looks dirty and looks un unclean. So this, we are going on which road? I don't know the name of this road, but we are going to Pakistan right now. The humidity is on another level. Let's cross on the other side. Right there you can be wondering why a lot of Muslims are wearing the kanzu. Not today is like their Sunday. They eat biryani, pilau, and those other stuff. Being, ra being raised in Mombasa, some of the advantage, advantage is that if you have some friends, uh, you're going to enjoy those foods. And you find yourself knowing how to prepare them the best way, not the simpler way the best way because you know if you stay with them you learn a lot <laughs> Nairobi street food you know when I see my eye and smoke in if you go to Nairobi you'll find everyone Go to the rugby, find everyone else. Doing smokies and mayayi and sausages. So, the junction ahead, we're gonna go on our right side. We're gonna turn right. But then guys, I'm going to do a very unique street food of Mombasa way, which all men usually go and take some snacks. I'm sure you're going to enjoy the video. buildings on my left side there used to be uh, the county houses they demolished them and right now they are still uh, under construction you can see how beautiful they look like Pakistan point a new lifestyle Ooh, invest in a lifestyle you can see how they look after they are finished Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's look close.
Kenya Methodist University. Guys, I know majority of you guys, the road which you have walked at, very new to you guys. Very few of you guys know the road, unless you are born in Mombasa. Okay guys, right now we are in Rainbow Zone. After walking for, I guess, 25 minutes or, or more, more than that, I don't know. I'm not sure. We are in Buxton. Going that way is to Makadara. Going to this way, we are going to connect to the Nyali Bridge or blah, 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 blah. These are the houses. So, let's take a matati to... Kisauni. They are going to Kisauni. As usual, guys, you know we have to bargain. <laughs> Bargaining is, 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 is good. Good. Huh? It doesn't mean you don't have money. It's just that you don't want to be checked or. Ah, so far. Ah, he has stopped. We have to bargain. Let's see if he's gonna accept 50 more. Ah, he's going away. Oh. Let's see. Bibi, I'm seeing you. Oh, my God. 